Welcome to All India Sri Shivaji Memorial Society's Institute of Information Technology. I am Professor Vikas Katak Town, Assistant Professor from Department of Information Technology. Here we are discussing the basics of Python programming language and in that now we are going to be discuss what is mean by names, values and types. Before that we have discussed there are the two values. One is the integer kind of the values and floating point numbers. So these values are stored in some kind of the variables or these are called as a names so values have types we already know that and we can perform operations on these values now names acquire their type from the current value here we are assigning these values to particular name and what kind of the value it holds according to its type is defined and your type is not fixed as you are changing dynamically the values to the names the names type is changed and we have to declare name and its type before its use in your programming language the names can be assigned values of different types as program evolves or as programs is dynamically executing so in this particular example here initially i have assigned the value 5 to the name i in next statement I have changed that particular value with this operation multiplication operation 7 multiply with 1 so here I value is changed and it is still integer value but in case of third statement I have used another variable name or name j and that holds the value i by 3 and we know that i by 3 is the float division and j now becomes it is so in this particular scenario, it totally depends on what kind of the value you have assigned to the name, its type is defined. And in next statement, we can observe when you do operation like 2 multiply j, so at that time i becomes float because j is a float value and when you multiply with the any integer value, so result become float. So at that time, the type of name i becomes to be float now we can check the type of any name by typing this particular function called type then we'll have this particular name and when you execute this function from interpreter we'll know what is the type of that particular name so here type of name is totally depends on the value it holds so in this example will have i it changes from integer type to float type now it is not a good style to assign values of mixed type to same name so when we have to use different values so at that time you have you can use different names in your programming language now after that we'll have the another kind of the values called as the boolean values these values are the true and and it is going to be represented by using the bool keyword so after numbers we will have these values called as a boolean values true and false and like numbers we will also perform operations on these two values true and false in numbers we will perform the operations like addition subtraction multiplication division like arithmetic operations so here when we are having the boolean values at that time we will perform the different logical operations so these logical operations are the not and and or so not operator will invert the result or it will invert the value if the value is true and when you say not true the so result is false or the value become false and in this particular false case if you say not false the value get inverted to the true and in case of another logical operator and when you use this and operator for values that values are either true or false when both values that is x and y are true then your result becomes true and in case of a logical operation or when any one value is true your result becomes true so these are the operators that can be perform on the boolean values then there are different 
another different comparison operations we can perform on this particular boolean values so there are the six logical comparison operators these are equal to not equal to less than greater than less than equal to and greater than equal to so in uh, this particular example from 1 to 6 we have used different logical comparison operator that yields the result boolean value either true or false then we can combine different logical operators together by using logical operator okay so here n is greater than 0 it is a comparison operation and m mod n is also n mod n equals to 0 is also a comparison operator so we can combine these two comparison operator by using logical operator then we can assign a boolean values to a particular name also so here in this particular example divisor is the name and at the right hand side we are having the expression m mod n equals to 0 so this is the comparison operation will yields the result either true or false and whatever the value we will have this is assigned to the divisor name then we will have this particular example that it describes different use of values statements that are we are already explaining the previous slides so here i have defined one function called as the divides which uses two arguments m and n and in that we are writing the body of that particular defini def uh, definition or function this is if n mod m equals to 0 it is a comparison and when we will do the comparison we will have the result either true or false when there is a true is the result so at that time we will return the true or else we will return the false so this is the function called as a divides now we will define another function e1 that calculates the given number is even or not so when you have to check the number is even or odd will directly call the function divides with these two arguments 2 and n so 2 will copy to the m and n is copied to the n so here n is the any number and 2 is the constant value so we'll divide that particular number by 2 and check the re remainder is 0 or not if you will get the remainder as a 0 so it will return true return true means the number is even and in case of odd function when you pass any number and call that particular divide function with this number and when we will obtain that is when this the remainder is not zero so at that time we will have the re return as a false and we will have the result as a not if it is true then it becomes false and if it is false it becomes true likewise so this is the different values that we are using in a program 